Hello, this is part two of my advice on moving from UK to UAE, in particular Abu Dhabi. Uh, first thing I wanted to mention was schools. So all the schools are private, so you have to pay for schooling here. Um, and you might assume that because it's all fee paying that finding a place in, in a school would be straightforward as there's lots of schools. But actually, it can be quite difficult, particularly if you're moving during the academic year or it's in the crucial age of 14 to 18. So start it early um, and apply to several schools. It's not nearly as, as easy as, as, as we thought it would be. And it's probably going to determine where you live. Um, you'll need things like, you may have to take, the children may have to take a little online test, may have a little online interview, and your school reports um, you know, will, will be required. Start that process really early. Um, you'll need to pay the school first term school fees up front, uh, usually a couple of weeks or so before the start of term. Uh, so remember to save up for that. And next thing I want to talk about was car. So you'll need a car, and particularly a family car. You can't really walk very far, Abu Dhabi in particular is, is actually very big. Um, so to get a car, they like you to put down 20% of the sale value. If you can't do that, you can still get a car. They will apply for a loan to the bank and if you're not putting down a 20% a down payment, they will add that on to the, the, uh, the loan get a bank loan you need your salary certificate and a breakdown of the salary and of course the loan will size will be determined on what your your salary is and who your employer is how stable your employment is uh, but that is relatively straightforward and, and normal practice uh, in terms of transport for your children to school there are school buses that will stop off at various points in the area so it's likely uh, your children will be able to get a bus to school provided it's not more than an hour away bear in mind that the buses school buses stop at lots of different stops so short distance may take a relatively long time for your children to get to school the um a uh, note on language, you can get by with English very well. I think the Emiratis uh, appreciate it when you do try and speak Arabic, and certainly I'm going to try to learn, but it is quite a tricky language compared to the European languages we're used to learning. Uh, Clothing-wise, it's kind of obvious, but you won't need much in the way of jumpers and jackets. I'm talking to you from November. I've been here three weeks. I did bring a couple of jumpers and a jacket with me, but I haven't had to wear them once. It is getting cooler, uh, gradually week by week, but it's still blazing sunshine during the day, but pleasant in the evening. 